we've known about Cooper Flag for more than a year now, maybe close to two years. But over the last couple of weeks, he's officially arrived. The Cooper Flag year is here. It starts now. So buckle in and enjoy it. He's already moved in at Duke. He started practicing with the team last month. And now he's wowing everybody at USA Basketball in Las Vegas. Before yesterday, it was just hype. It was about potential. There were folk tales without video attached to it. Not anymore. Yesterday, Cooper proved the hype is real. And this next college basketball season is about to be fun. High school tape, it can be deceiving. Especially when you're playing basketball in Maine. Not exactly a hoop hotbed. The AAU circuit can be, you know, there could be some loose ends there too that we don't need to get into right now. The camp stories, they're folklore. Cooper Flagg, did you hear one time, embarrassed Bradley Beal to the point where Bradley Beal started yelling at him? These are things that people have said about Cooper Flagg that's built up into this legend. But then we saw the video yesterday. It was about a half hour long. And it's Cooper with a bunch of people like Cooper, U18 types. Remember, Cooper doesn't turn 18 years old until December, well into the start of the Duke season. He reclassified into this year's class. And on the other side of the floor is the U.S. basketball team that's going to compete in Paris. LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Bam Adebayo, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant. They're all on the court. And there's a sequence. It's about 20 seconds long. Ben Golliver got the video for the Washington Post where Cooper Flagg hit a three that was contested by Anthony Davis, shot over his seven-foot reach, drilling a three, then denying an outlet to Anthony Davis for an easy basket, then grabs the ball, outlets to one end of the floor for a wide-open three for his teammate. The teammate misses it, but Cooper's charging the basket, is able to grab the offensive rebound and hit a putback in one motion while being fouled and knocked to the floor. He dunked on Bam Adebayo on another possession. He's 17 years old. If he's doing this against U.S. Olympians, I like his chances against Stetson. Or against anybody in the ACC in that matter. After the game, game recognized game, LeBron is dapping him up with a big smile on his face. Here was CBS Sports' Gary Parrish on what exactly we're looking at with Cooper Flat. This young man is not only going to be, you know, the most high-profile freshman in the country and arguably the most high-profile player in the country and the projected favorite to be the number one pick in the next draft, he's got a real shot to be the best college basketball player in the country this season as well, despite being way younger than uh, most people need to be before they can ever approach those types of, of labels. To be clear, he was on the court yesterday, not just playing against some of the best players in the world, but playing with other NBA players, guys who have already performed in that league and proven stuff. Staggering. Teams are already preparing the tank for Cooper. What are we going to call it? Pooper for Cooper? That's good. I like that. Pooper for Cooper. Coming out of the gate hot. The Nets, they are the number one culprit for Pooper for Cooper right now. They traded away McCall Bridges, who was their one really good player. The Hawks, they're in this hunt too. They drafted a player who might not be able to play at the onset of the season, number one of the draft. They're looking to trade DeJounte Murray, so they're in these sweepstakes. The Bulls, they unloaded DeRozan and Caruso. Maybe it's them. Don't be surprised if Portland, maybe even the Charlotte Hornets, and others decide to join them. This is the best draft since 2019, maybe even further, than that, uh, further back than that, and it's because of the head of the snake. At the top of this class, is a generational player in Cooper Flagg who already looks the part at 17 years old against U.S. Olympians yesterday. The Cooper Flagg year, it starts now. Buckle up. He's 
And the fact he's attending Duke makes it even better. For us locally, it's fantastic. For those who go to games at Cameron Indoor Stadium, as we do, that's fantastic. But it's going to elevate his profile, too. He's going to be a household name the way that Zion was. Zion's Duke games outdrew Saturday night NBA primetime games on ABC. That might be what we see with Cooper Flagg this next basketball season. The difference is Zion was loved, even though he went to Duke. It's hard to dislike Zion Williamson when you watch the guy play. You see his smile. You see how humble he is. That ACC tournament game that Duke was playing in, it's a rite of passage when Duke plays that most people in the crowd hate Duke and are booing Duke. Zion was cheered, that Duke team, when they played Syracuse his first game in Charlotte at the ACC tournament where he didn't miss a shot that night. Cooper's going to be hated, though. He has a swagger Zion didn't. He's arrogant in a way Zion's not. And he's white. It adds to it when you put him next to Christian Leitner and J.J. Redick. It's easier to dislike the white guy. It's easier to dislike as, what's a grammar school term for it? YT? I think that's it. You know, people thought Flip was edgy. Get ready. Hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He and his teammates, they've already reported the camp. The Cooper flag hype, it's not hype anymore. He's arrived. The Cooper flag year starts now. 